Place two long and tall pieces of wood directly into your oven. Bon dia mundo! So today we are having a home day and getting more stuff done but we thought we would try and attempt to use our bread oven for the first time and then have it with soup for dinner. So Jay is currently looking up videos on YouTube to find out how to actually work the wood fire oven and we're going to give it a go. I'm going to make some bread and we'll see what happens. I feed the fire with small amounts of paper to promote the first flame and get it going. Once your fire is established, it's time to add bigger pieces of wood. All right, that's it. That's it. We've learned everything we need to learn about making bread in an oven. <laughs> and the one thing I'm slowly realizing is that it's a very slow process. It's going to take almost three hours for the thing to get hot enough to bake even one loaf. So I better get started. For the effort that it takes to heat up this bread oven, I think we should make more than one loaf. I'm going to say right now, I think this is going to end in disaster. <laughs> Whenever we do stuff like this, it never works out how we think it's going oh, to. Oh, ye of little faith. This is what we're going to cook. We didn't realise it until just now, but this is actually a bread mix. So it's got everything in there. You just have to add water and mix it and then let it rise for about an hour. Is that right? Yeah. And then you can put it in. So this is going to take over an hour as well. Just yeah, well that's less time than I've got to do. <laughs> I mean, you get started on that. So, let's have a look inside there. Eden's coming with me. All the way to Y. Lovely day out. It's actually warming up quite nicely. I don't have a very good track record of lighting fires, as you probably may know. So, it might take even longer than three hours. Needs a bit of a clean, I think. Look at those cool, dusty beams of sunlight we're creating. It's getting cleaner. Oh, I'm covered in ash, I think. But we're getting there. Okay, I'm following the instructions. The video that I watched said to put the two pieces of wood eight inches apart, create an airflow stack it on top with some kindling. So that's what I'm doing, blindly following instructions. My trousers are covered in ash already. All right, let's get some paper and some kindling and get this thing lit. These are my fire starters. Got some pine cones from the forest, an egg carton and some recycling. Also some wood pellets from the fire stove. This camera is covered in ash. Hopefully it will survive this experience. <laughs> It's like this thing. Light, light up. It looks like the beginnings of a good fire. I'm quite pleased with that. We have smoke rising. I believe that when it's ready to go, it will start burning clean. You won't see much smoke. I'm very pleased with that. Absolute first attempt and it's lit nicely. I do believe I deserve some man points for this. Look at that, people. How satisfying is that fire? I've created a little inlet at the bottom here, an exhaust hole at the top here, like a chimney. Slowed the fire down a little bit. I don't think I can get across how satisfying this is. For me, this is what life is all about learning about survival skills and learning how to do different things that you would never normally do in your regular life just outside of your world outside of where you grew up and this this kind of thing wasn't available to me in my lifetime because just of the generation i'm born into the country i was born into so be able to come to another place where this was normal at one time and learn it and see it working it's just it's just valuable, it really is. I'm just sitting here watching the smoke rising up into the blue sky. Remembering that little moment there. Listening to the sounds of that crackling fire. And you just never know, there may come a time on this planet 
where you might need this skill. So I do like to think about stuff like that. Okay, so this is the loaf of bread situation. It is far from ideal because we don't have any extra flour, so it's a bit sticky and it's actually stuck onto the tray thing. I've ground up oats to make like an oat flour, but it's not really working, so I think Joe's just gonna have to like roll it off of the thing and chuck it in the oven. So next time we need extra flour, but in the meantime, I've been making a kind of flapjack. I really fancied flapjacks the other day and in the shop there was no golden syrup or brown sugar. So they are essential ingredients for a traditional flapjack. So I looked up alternative recipes and I made this. They do actually look authentic. They look like a flapjack, but they don't taste the same. They're not as gooey but they are much healthier because these are butterless and sugarless flapjacks. So it is oats with coconut oil, honey, and a mashed banana. And then I added in a spoon of chia seeds and a spoon of desiccated coconut, and then cooked it for 20 minutes. And now they are cool, but they're still quite crumbly, like they're not really holding their form. So I've just melted up a little bit of chocolate that I'm going to put on top of them. Alright, I'm going to put these in the fridge for a little bit and see if they set and harden up a bit because they are very crumbly. And I'm going to go and have a quick look and see Jay's fire attempt out here. It's not an attempt. I've heard it's good. It's raging. <laughs> All right, I can see already it does look rather impressive. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Pushing it onto the back. That's really cool. Oh, it's lovely standing in front of here. So if you see on the top there, it's starting to go white. The whole oven needs to go white like that. And then when it is, it's ready to go. <laughs> look at you bakery monster. You've got chocolate all over you. That's because I can't see below the belly. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, I'm heading back inside to make some lunch. I'm going to do a cheese sandwich. I'm being kicked and that usually means it's lunchtime. It's actually really lovely out here in the sun. It's really warm, but it's very deceptive because inside the house, the living room doesn't really heat up, doesn't get the sun. So I've been sitting in there thinking it's really cold, <laughs> but in fact, it is lovely. Right, lunch is done. I think I'll take them outside. Jay's still out there tending to his flames. So I will go and sit down there and eat it out there with him in the sun. And what are you out here for? I've heard rumours that there's a little stick on the table for me. So that's why I'm here. So that's just brought out the lunch we're going to eat by the fire today. Even though it's a bit hot, I want to keep an eye on it, make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do. Take a look at that. Almost like an igloo in there. <laughs> Soon it'll be ready when it goes all white. So we now know how to light fires. You're learning how to crochet. Soon we'll have life skills. <laughs> life skills we can use. And teach. Okay guys, we have to go on a flower run. Run out of flair. Come on in. This one, this one. Right, flower run complete. Not just flare. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh my god, Dad, I did not realise you were going to get me some tea crocs. Nice. My clothes smell like stinking burnt wood. <laughs> <laughs> I must smell like a bonfire. We're going to go back and see how hot the oven is now and then stick these loaves in. Oh, 
point they've all stuck together a little bit because they're expanding. One of them's rosemary with salt and the other two are just oat loaves. So let's see if I can make this work. I actually had to add more fire because it wasn't hot enough in there. But I can see the thermometer, it's looking like it's reading about 400 degrees now. So let's put it in. Here we go. Another thing that we talked about for a long time before we came back here to live. This bread oven, the deciding feature on why we came to live at this particular house is now engaged, ready for use. We've done the research. Made some assumptions. The fire's burning hot. It's time to bake some bread. Never done anything like this before. It feels good to be learning something new. To be making a dream a reality. And taking something that was just a thought and making a day of it. Sitting outside in this hammock, sun beaming through the tree, smell of fresh bread coming out of a stone oven is something we'd find very difficult to mimic where we're from. So this is a good moment. And I'm proud of myself for making it happen. I'm proud of us for going through with what we said and making this life real. Now let's eat some bread. Look at that. Very pleased with that. They've come out really well. The rosemary bread smells like rosemary. I'm actually glad that that rosemary plant died because now the things <laughs> have gone dried so they didn't uh, soak into the bread or anything. They've just added a really nice smell, hopefully a really nice flavour. So let's try it out. Breads, breads, breads. Oh, get off. Flies, it's not for you. The fruits of your labour. Wow. Ah, it's heavy, 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 heavy. Now we just need a nice soup to go with it. On it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right, I need to blend this up. For anybody that's using this as a how-to video, I checked that the temperature was over 400 degrees. I think it's supposed to be 600. And then I swept all the ash and burning logs to the back of the oven, and I used a wet rag on top of the brush to clean the area where the bread was gonna go. And then I just slapped the loaves directly onto the stones. And it was probably about 45 minutes before the loaves were ready. So it was quite a relaxing little bread oven experience and they look and smell like they're done. We're not gonna be able to eat all three loaves before one of them goes off. So I think we'll probably freeze one of the duplicates and see if they last. And if not, give it to somebody around, who knows. Nice. All right, there's the soup and some remainders of bread. What's the taste <laughs> test like? It's really amazing. Yeah? And I have to say sorry for doubting the bread skills this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. And the soup is delicious too, right? Yeah. So we both did well. Yeah. So that, my friends, is what happens when an inexperienced man takes on the task of making bread in a bread <laughs> oven. I think we did all right, didn't we? Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. And we will see you tomorrow for more adventures. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to add that I've been quite a good girl today. Haven't I, Mum? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I've been walking around all on my own. I even came in a car for no reason. <laughs> little Carlo journey. Yeah, little Carlo journey. Can I have one of those Viendo sticks that you got? Okay then, just one. Delicious. Delicious also. <laughs>